behind you. Oh, sorry, yeah. No, no, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. Okay. Hi uh, guys, at the moment, uh, good morning. We're at, uh, well, 10, I'm not sure what time it is at the moment, but it's early. Uh, we're in uh, Dollars uh, Valley. <sighs> and uh, we're being asked to uh, move because they don't like the idea. It's uh, been declared, uh, well, private property. All the whole damn uh, place. Street, yeah, exactly. Hera Avenue. We're on Hera Avenue, but uh, according to uh, this gentleman behind, it's, uh, he's saying that it's a uh, private property and that we're not allowed to uh, take photographs here. But then, hey, it's actually one of those things. Uh, again, we're in Hera Avenue. I don't know whether it's supposed to be, uh, uh, it is valid that they're saying it's, it is uh, uh, private property. There's nothing here that indicates it is private property. Uh, yeah. Yes, uh, they said that this is uh, private property. Okay. Uh, excuse me, constable. Uh, we've just been told that that is supposed. This uh, whole uh, is this, is this street is Ken supposed street to be private. private. The whole thing is private. I, Wait, I, I, do you I, know anything about it? Yeah, no, but the thing is, there's nothing in the case it's supposed to be pro uh, private property. It says Hera Avenue. This is London, Borough London, Borough London Borough Borough of Barnet. <laughs> so yeah. when did and, they... And, then, and, they just, and, they, and then they've just told us it's the whole thing's private property. I'm assuming. I'm assuming. I'm assuming. I'm assuming. I'm assuming. Obviously, while they're building on it, it's technically owned by the people that are building on it. But really, even... even so there's the street. This is ridiculous. the people of Barnet's land. This is the council state. We are residents of Barnet. Therefore, this is our land. I, now, if they want people to I, live here, if, I know. If I was hundred percent sure, I would say, but yeah, I'm not. But at this moment, it's, it's give ridiculous. You a lie, okay. So. Anyway, uh, yes, uh, I'm recording some more at the moment. Yeah, sorry. Uh, just for uh, there's a, there's a march for homes in London at the moment uh, yeah. from Elephant Castle going to City okay. uh, City Hall. So uh, yeah, we are going to be true. joining that. But it's a, it's a good thing. It's a quite uh, serendipitous that this, uh, this that they're opening this place up uh, yeah. for uh, residents. Well, actually not for residents, but then it seems to show I, yes. Oh, I this is like, these are the the yeah. houses. Yeah, these are the yeah. houses we're being built, that are being built. But you're not going to be allowed to. Uh, you, you can't afford them. So I, bye bye. Uh, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> you know, it's not that things. It is. Uh, yes. So anyway, uh, if you'd like to join us later on, we will be at the uh, March for Homes from Elephant Castle to, uh, well, sorry, no, I'm going to be at the Shoreditch one going to uh, City Hall. Then afterwards, please join us later on at the 12 bar, occupied the 12 bar, Bohemians, um, Bohemians for Soho. We're trying to save another place. This one is in the London Borough Baronet. It's actually Zone 5, but it is uh, it's a great uh a space if you have a uh, hey, if you have uh, the great transport links get you uh, to uh, London central London and then to work there and uh, so people can afford it but anyway uh, these places are being sold for uh, minimums about four hundred and twenty thousand pounds and uh, the rest uh, well it's 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 a it's a ridiculous situation where uh, the, it's being opened uh, local people can come and look at it but then it seems to uh, show them that no, you can't afford to live here. So uh, goodbye. Uh, li li uh, <laughs> go to the outskirts of London, and uh, yeah, just nuts, really. It's uh, so it is social cleansing. <sighs> it is yeah. They're, they're at the moment, uh, uh, they we don't even know how uh, the uh, people, well, the development company managed to, um, and then nice name is the countryside, um, managed to gain uh, the land from Barnet Council but then uh, <laughs> uh, I have my suspicions the same way that our uh, that West Hendon estate has been seems to have been gifted to Barrett's when we don't have any idea how much Barrett's paid for the land or if it was it a was it an asset transfer from the people of Barnet from the taxpayers of Barnet to Barrett's so another thing that we need to investigate so please if you want to uh, yeah check it out and see in any case if you want to uh, follow what's uh, the developments go to uh, well Facebook would be Barnet Housing Action Group you'll find out more information on that one then of course the uh, Twitter is Barnet Action Barnet H for uh, Hotel Action and uh, well our Occupy News Network here so this is OB our um, Twitter would be Occupy NN and of course Occupy News Network on Facebook and Occupy News Network on YouTube and we will be back soon. Please join us later on.